I'm with Simon Crowther from Flood Protection Solutions and as you can see we're in the almost finished kitchen, we're just waiting for the floor to be put down on Monday, but Simon has kindly given us this puddle sucker which actually is very heavy, so just be aware of that, it's very heavy. And Simon, I'd be really grateful if you could tell me why you're so anxious that I should have a puddle sucker mm. for the community centre. Well, I think generally in flood defence, there's three different types of pump. You can either go for an engine-driven pump, which you wouldn't want to use inside for obvious reasons with carbon monoxide. Um, there's a submersible pump or a puddle pump. Many people go and buy a submersible pump, but the, the problem with those is you can't use them in low levels of water because the motors will burn out. So after using it for a short amount of time, your pump will die and you end up with nothing. Whereas a puddle pump is specially designed to suck to really low levels of water. So in a building like this where you're having flood defence measures fitted but water may still seep in, a puddle pump is ideal because it can actually suck to a depth of just one millimetre. So it almost leaves the floor dry. There just is literally a puddle on the floor and it's sucking the water away. You could run a pipe out of the window and just any water that came in, get it straight back out again and try and keep the level in here as low as possible. They're absolutely fantastic, these Sroomy pumps, and they come with a three-year warranty as well. Goodness me. So this pipe here, you just fit, fit to that with a screwdriver? Yeah, you'd um, use a Jubilee clip, fit the pipe, and then put the pipe just out of the window. Throw it out of the window here. And so the idea, we, are, we acknowledge with this project that flood water will get in here. Because of the resilient measures, we know that they will dry very quickly, but any residual water can literally be pumped out um, with this pipe put out of the window. And again, the idea behind that is get back in sooner and it will do so, so much less damage if we've got a puddle sucker um, up and running. And Simon, I'm very, very grateful for, for this for you, uh, for using it. And of course, um, this will now be on YouTube and people will be able to know where to get the puddle sucker from. Well, we um, created a site, floodandwaterpumps.co.uk, um, basically because I visit so many properties across the country and realised that a lot of people had the incorrect water pump that wasn't going to work in practice as they hoped. Um, so we tried to make the best quality pumps available with expert advice as well. And one of our favourites is, is the puddle sucker. We love working with communities, so I'm happy we can support you with this project. Well, thank you very much. When I was flooded, I had um, a pump from a fish pond to pump me out, and it really was a waste of space. Yeah. It took forever. I wish these were about 17 years ago <laughs> when I was this deep in water. So thank you very much. That's much okay. appreciated.